Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Well, boss, stay up in this mood. I got my second assault squad built up, ready for painting. So I'm gonna take you through one by one, show you what I did with each of them. All right, so here's my first model, the sergeant. He's got a bolt pistol and a power weapon. His helmet got hit in the side with a round, so he whipped it off. I'm planning on doing some bruising effects or maybe some a little bit of blood splatter on the side of his head to reflect that. His banner is blowing. I got it blowing in in a direction like it's it's blowing back from from underneath. The wind is coming from the bottom. You can see that. This bolt pistol is from the Death Company. It has an X right over there, so I had to cover it with a purity seal off of the Space Marine frame. Also added a purity seal there on the armor in the same direction as the back banner. And the backpack is standard Space Marine. I used the Blood Angels Death Company shoulder pad for the left shoulder pad for the Blood Angel symbol, and I'm going to do a a transfer for the blood drop on the right one. I also added some grenades and a little bit of some kit ammo packs on his belt off of the tactical marine frame. And this, uh, the head is actually from the Dark Angels frame. The, um, what's it called? Dark Angels conversion frame. And I thought it looked good so I put it on him. Okay, we'll see you at the next one. Here's an assault marine checking a grenade, running over some barbed wire and a piece of cork. Also got a death company shoulder pad for him. And the bolt the bolt pistol is in a holster and his chain sword is I think a standard assault marine chain sword. I'm running out of bits. I think I had barely enough to make this squad, so I don't think I can do any more after this assault squad. And every every website I look on that sells bits are usually out of the chain sword and the bolt pistol. It's too bad. So here's another guy. Love this this shoulder pad from the Death Company frame because it's got this little gold chalice pendant hanging off of it. Beaky helmet. Use the tabard from one of the, I think it was a Space Marine Sergeant frame. Oh, looks like I gotta take care of that mold line. A little bit of flash there. There's him. I love those old style beaky helmets. Those really rock. Okay, here's a very action oriented guy. I think I got this off the Blood Angels Death Company frame too. It's got the blood drop on it. It's just some grenades and a hand weapon. Death Company bolt pistol. And chainsword because it's got the little parchment motif on it. Blood drop pendants. Yeah, so there's him. And here's the guy with the Infernus pistol, I believe. Yep. Death Company shoulder pad. Looks like he's running over this piece of rubble. And... Cool helmet. There's his chainsword. I think for this guy, now that I think about it, I took an extra Cadian Sergeant's chainsword. It has this Aquila on it. And I chopped off... I think the hand was supposed to be holding a plasma pistol. And I was so sad, but I was like, it's the only one where the left hand is at an a at the correct angle to do it. And here's the last guy. He's got some barbed wire on the base. Ooh. And he's holding an Auspex. Which, if you don't know, is like a little motion detector, handheld motion detector. So that's going to be fun to paint up. Some Death Company backpacks and shoulder pads. Oh yeah, this Death Company backpack has a huge X across, so I had to 
glue some purity seals to it to, to cover up the X. Like I said in my other videos, or for, for anybody who knows the fluff, if you see an X on the Blood Angels, that means they are in the Death Company, which is a bunch of people who have gone insane with bloodlust and battle rage because of the, the flaw in their, their genetics. So it makes them go crazy and think that they're fighting a battle from 10,000 years ago, so they have to be put in their own little unit and sent towards the enemy as fast as possible. But I just love the backpack. Look, it's got these blood drop pendants on it, this chalice at the top. Really, really nice. It's just it had that X on it that if anybody saw it, it would be like, hey man, that's a Death Company backpack. You're painting it all wrong. I also use the Death Company torso, which you can see has a lot of great detail on it. It's got those crossed bones and the, um, the little blood drop symbol on it. So this guy's gonna be fun to paint. All right, so this is just a little update video show you what I've been doing. My real life has just gotten so busy and hectic, so I'm not finding a lot of time to model and paint. But I'll try to get these guys done, hopefully by the weekend, and show them to you. If not, then by next week, definitely for sure, I'll have enough time. Hope you guys like this little Blood Angels update, and we'll see you in the next one. What up, players? Warbots tail up in this mood. Finally got my second assault squad done, so let's take a look at what I've got. The first here is a sergeant. He's got his third company white teardrop all scuffed up on his shoulder pad. His power weapon, painted regular just metallic, metallic bolt gun. Uh, I tried to go for a crusted, bloody, bruised effect to match where the hole on the helmet is, but I didn't realize that he's got this hairline that it, it's gonna be, it was kinda hard to kick on the blood, so I just made it look like the discoloration and the, the blood from the bruising is running down his face. I'm having a hard time with the eyes on this one because it's a little bit smaller than I'm used to, so the, I actually accidentally painted the lids and I had to keep painting over and over, and so now he just kinda looks kinda bug-eyed and I'm gonna have to go over him again. The idea with the back banner was that I just wanted to put a decal on it from the vehicle from the vehicle decal list and I it looked kind of plain sorry hold on for a second it looked kind of plain so I decided to add some script at the bottom and the, the idea behind this is that these are just a listing of everything that this 8th squad has been involved in the different campaigns and such listed in each column. So here's the bolt pistol and I gave him golden wings for the blood angel symbol. And there's the chipped weathering and a little bit of battle damage to his suit. And there he is, the sergeant. Okay, up next, let's do a fun one. Here is the assault marine with the grenade. Chucking the grenade, jumping over the barbed wire and this piece of cork. He's got a chain sword, scuffed up. Death Company shoulder badge, or shoulder pad with the company badge on it, or the, the chapter badge, I mean. The wing drop of blood off the Death Company. So with the knee pad, I, I freehanded all of them. I'm gonna have to go back and clean some of them because I've seen that they're a little bit sloppy, but with 8 Squad, which is who these guys belong to, it's a black lightning bolt on a yellow background, whereas my other squad, 7 Squad, that I first painted up is a yellow lightning bolt on a black background. And that's how they differentiate between the two different assault squads. So there he is. I'll do one more before I stop and start the video again. Here's a marine, and for his script I decided to do a list of the fallen of 8th squad. 
So all the members who have fallen in battle with 8 Squad since, I don't know, maybe since their campaign started or in the last couple of campaigns. There he is. Yeah, these Death Company shoulder badges, fantastic. I might buy another Death Company box set just to round out my Death Company, because right now my Death Company only has five guys in it. I might want to make a full 10-man squad. That way I'll have all these extra bits like the shoulder pads and the, the bolt pistols and the backpacks to, to make more guys with. Some people ask me how I do my battle damage and it's basically just you highlight the armor with blazing orange where you want the battle damage to be, the chips, and then inside the orange, leaving the orange as a border you paint in Caradin Granite, which is like a mix of black and a really dark gray, kind of brownish gray, so it makes a very cool brown gray color inside. So here's my Auspex guy, he's got a Death Company breastplate, Death Company shoulder pad. I think if I decide to move this guy over to my to my honor guard. I could do that because he's got these two chalice motifs, which I could use for a sanguinary initiate. Something like that, the guy that gives the squad feel no pain. So I might do that, and here's his Auspex. I painted that by doing snot green on the inside and then drawing those lines in goblin green. So really simple, but really effective. Razor wires from Army Painters Battlefield's Razor Wire set. It's really, really simple to apply and really effective. And this is a Death Company backpack. I had to cover the X's with the purity seals, as you saw from the first video. I was gonna stop and start the video, but you know what? I've only got two guys left, so might as well finish. Here's a guy with the chain sword from the Death Company spree. You can tell because it's got these blood droplet medallions on it. pistol from the Death Company sprue because it's got this blood droplet. A little bit of scroll work on the bolt pistol. And a little Blood Angels weapon with grenades sheath on his side. So there's him. And the last guy six, my furnace pistol guy. Ooh, gotta clean up that lightning bolt. It's kind of sloppy. So, like I said, these guys are just about like 95% finished. Just a little bit of touch up here and there. But, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Inferno. Another Death Company shoulder pad. Oh yeah, covered up the X on this guy's hand for the Infernus Pistol with the Purity Seal. The Infernus Pistol, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the Sanguinary Guard box set has it too, but for me I only had the Death Company Spruce, so if I wanted to get my Infernus Pistols for my squads I had to dig it off with the Death Company Sprue and this guy on the wrist part of the back of his gauntlet has an X marking Death Company, so I covered it up with the Purity Seal. Alright, so... I hope you guys like this little look at my second assault squad. I've got a Razorback, my first Razorback kit, so I'm going to try building that up and painting it, but Blood Angels are probably going to have to go away for a little while since I don't have any more assault squad boxes and I'm going to see what else I can paint up in the meantime. I've got, ooh, I've got a, de a box set of Demonettes, so I'm going to try seeing how I can paint those. Still in the process of making my video for the racks, there they are in various states of preparation to be filmed and got some other projects lined up so stay tuned let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do or if you have any questions or whatever and I'll try to get back at you okay hope you're all doing well have a great day